There's these claims going around that heat pumps are going to save you loads and loads in your carbon emissions and they're much better for the environment and they're better for your home. But is any of that really true? There's loads of content out there, but let's try and cut through it and let me use my personal real world example to show you if a heat pump is actually going to cut down on your carbon footprint and if it's something worthwhile investing in. People talk about the cost savings. I say £495 in the first year if I'm being really, really conservative. But how many kilograms of CO2 do you think I've saved? Is it actually worthwhile? And even if you're not going to save money, maybe you want to consider it if you're thinking about going green. A quick reminder that I've got a completely run-of-the-mill house, 140 square meter, four bed detached house, built in 1996, a valent seven kilowatt heat pump with a cylinder, 10 mil copper microboard pipe work and a 45 litre buffer tank. Far from a heat geek installation, but somehow you can see my electrical consumption on the left and the heat generated on the right. And that resulted in a coefficient of performance over the whole year, seasonal coefficient of performance of over four. And we're very happy with that. But anyway, to the point about emissions, heat pumps are still powered by the grid and the grid has emissions associated with it. We've got gas power plants and everything else. And so people are constantly saying, well, what's the point? You're just transferring your emissions from your house, your gas boiler, and you're transferring them, relocating them somewhere else. It's just a nimbyism thing to do. Well, so this is the average for the past year, as you can see, 122 grams per kilowatt hour. And we're going to take that as a worst case situation. I'm going to pretend that my heat pump was never powered off any solar and that I didn't use time of use tariffs, which generally means I was powering my heat pump at a cheaper time, which also was a greener time when wind turbines are blowing overnight and stuff like that. But we're going to use that figure of 122 grams per kilowatt hour and we're going to see where does that actually get us to? So this is the worst case assumption. 2,660 2, kilowatt hours of electricity equals 325 kilograms of CO2. So what does that actually compare to a gas boiler? Here's our consumption again from my last video where I went into more of the finances of it. 2,660 kilowatt hours of electricity, and this is how much gas you would have needed. Uh, the purple in the middle is our old gas boiler, and if we'd have changed to a modern condensing boiler, you can see how much gas we needed, quite a lot. So how much, uh, how much is actually emitted by a gas boiler? Well, this clayed engineering, they look like they're on the side of heat pumps, and they've put out a figure of 280 grams of CO2 per kilowatt hour. And there's there's other things here. He's saying that heat pumps only release 83 grams. That's a lot lower than the figures. So maybe that's a little bit biased. I don't know. Let's see if we can find something a bit more impartial. Well, heatable. They sell gas boilers, so they're going to portray gas boilers in the best light. And they're saying 215 grams of CO2 per kilowatt hour. So let's use their figure to give gas boilers the absolute best chance and let's be as kind to the boilers as we can this is what we're looking at if we'd have stuck with that old purple old 70 percent non-condensing gas boiler we would have emitted 10 times as much co2 as what we did with our heat pump connected to the grid and this is the worst case situation for a heat pump against the best situation for our old gas boiler and then even if we'd have changed to a new modern condensing boiler we still would have emitted two and a half tons of co2 last year i don't think we quite understand how bad burning gas and our gas boilers boil you know plumes of steam coming out the side of a condensing boiler i don't think we realize how bad they are and this uh, these are using the best case figures for this okay so that means i don't know if you guessed it right how much did you guess that i saved 2.9 tons saved in one year and that's been super generous to the boiler and probably a bit pessimistic to my heat pump and the good thing is, is the grid is just decarbonizing at a brilliant rate. And so the, the difference between a heat pump and a gas boiler is just going to widen. The grid is getting cleaner year after year. Look at that difference between 2012 and 2024. And so the emissions needed to run a heat pump will just get greener and greener and greener. 
She's brilliant and we don't have to do anything about it. You know what to do. Press that like button, put a comment. Thank you very much. So maybe you don't care about climate change. Maybe you don't care about carbon emissions. Maybe you are happy with your log burner and you're happy with your gas boiler. What about NOx? Nitrous oxide and the other one, nitric acid thingy, whatever it is. Um, here you can see the figures for a gas boiler, okay? Um, we know that NOx is particularly bad for our respiratory system, lungs and all that kind of stuff and cardiovascular diseases. And there's been a huge push to reduce the NOx of vehicles and also gas boilers. We don't hear about it much, but a lot of local authorities have now brought in new limits and they're trying to lower it. But anyway, I'm waffling, aren't I? Um, so the maximum amount is set at 56, but let's be a bit kinder and let's use the London limit and let's say that the average for a boiler is 40 milligrams per kilowatt hour. We can see there are some boilers that exceed that and have special emission reduction systems. We will see how long those last. I know how bad these emission reduction systems are for internal combustion engines. And most modern vehicles that have problems with their engines, typically something to do with a NOx system or a carbon reduction system. So it's better to just avoid that and just get an electric motor. Anyway, I'm waffling again. Move on. 40 milligrams per kilowatt hour so what is this going to translate into okay so the heat pump if we're looking at the nox that are, is emitted by the grid it comes out at one gram for the total of uh, i should have changed this this is not grams per kilowatt hour this is just grams um for our total year's usage of the heat pump powered from the grid Worst case situation, it's one gram of NOx. Whereas our old 70% gas boiler, it would be 1,219. So over a kilograms of NOx. And some of that will be inside your property. Some of that will be just surrounding your property as well. And then if we'd have gone for a really efficient gas boiler, um, one that would be one of these real low emission ones that would pass all the new London targets and stuff 474 grams per not per kilowatt hour 474 grams of nox over the last year it's quite significant isn't it i think octopus energy are pushing in the right direction they are really at the forefront of leading the charge on renewables they're installing heat pumps they're advocates for evs and solar panels and importantly they are decarbonizing the grid so that whatever we do even if we're not changing our lifestyle or our habits everything is getting greener without us even realizing it you might want to sign up and get 50 quid and i get 50 quid if you use my little cope on there bold mist 390 so the summary is i save 495 pounds i saved 2952 kilograms of co2 saved and i saved 1,219 grams of NOx in my first year by switching from my old non-condensing gas boiler to a heat pump. Do you people think that's worth it? Let me know in the comments. What do you think about these figures? Is it something we should be focusing on more? Everyone's always asking about the financial cost. Should we, in our first breath, tell them about the financial savings but before they can butt in with another you know rebuttal or something in our second breath tell them about the carbon and maybe the nox savings as well i don't know thank you everyone for watching like comment subscribe you'll see me in another video within a few days i'd imagine goodbye